this video, we will present the Bridge Design Assistant, which allows you to easily create your bridge based on templates. Instead of having to use several times component-based design for decks, piers, and abutments, this assistant allows you to generate all of those at once. This is based on the Civil Engineer role, CIENC, and the Civil 3D Design application. I have here a road alignment and a terrain. To have a better display, this is fully optional, I will create some 3D terrain. I create a sketch on the XY plane. I draw a rectangle just slightly smaller than the terrain. I extrude the volume from this sketch bigger than the highest point of the terrain. I can now split this volume by the terrain and change the color of the volume and of the top face of the volume. Same way, if I want to add water in there, I extrude the same sketch to the elevation of the water. I can then split the volume by the terrain but I will keep the upper part this time. Now, I will define the start of the bridge using a point on the alignment. This could be also the intersection of the alignment and the river shore offset to have its position at a specific location. I pick the reference alignment, input the stationing, and type the point as start of bridge. Same way, I create a point on alignment for the end of the bridge. I type it as start of ground. Now, I can start my bridge using the bridge design assistant and the custom mode. Just by picking the alignment, terrain, start, and end of bridge are automatically recognized from the type points. I can adjust the number of supports, here two abutments and three piers. I can define if I want to have an hyperstatic bridge, meaning a single span from one abutment to the other, or an isostatic bridge with a deck between each piers. A combined mode is also available. The layout view can be adjusted between wireframe or linear. I can then adjust some bridge parameters, such as the deck height and width, support lengths, abutment height and length. Finally, I define the templates I want to use. For the deck, it can be a span, deck or deck segment type. I can then choose the template I want to use from the search. Start support can be either an abutment or a peer. Same way, I pick the template I want to use. For the middle support, I can either pick a pier, a pile, a tower, or a crosshead. I define the end abutment. Now, I can click on Process to instantiate my templates, and they will morph along the alignment and the terrain, and take into account input parameters. Now, my bridge has been generated, and my templates are saved into different sets in my specification tree. Let's define four alignment points for the position of my peers. I can go back to the Bridge Design Assistant by double-clicking on the Bridge Set under Component Specification. I can click on the Axis System to edit the pattern. The count of support can be adjusted also here. Axis System can be either moved manually, 
by selecting them and using the arrange row, or by using the move to point icon and picking an existing point. This way, I adjust the position of the peers using the alignment points I just created. Make sure that measurement is done on projected curve and that the axis orientation is direction imposed. I click on process to update. At any time, I can pick a component in the 3D and go to Capture Component Specification, the component-based design toolbox we saw in a previous tutorial. Here, I can modify the names of the middle supports. I can also change some parameters. Parameters can be filtered by type, length for example. I can change the parameter only for a specific peer by selecting by specification. Here, I will define a wider peer by switching the base low crosshead parameter from 3.5 meter to 5 meter for peer 3. We see that peer 3 is no wider than the others. The position of the peers can be adjusted by editing the alignment point they are pointing to. Now, let's say that I'm getting an updated alignment, which is the version 2. Instead of restarting my design with the new alignment, I can easily replace the version 1 of the alignment by version 2 and my branch will be automatically updated following the new alignment. This is really powerful and allows me to quickly iterate in my design process.